everyone welcome back hope you guys have uh, enjoyed previous lecture in which uh, i have introduced uh, what what are ant colonies and uh, what is ant colony optimization problem continuing further um, we will be discussing about how to uh, how to develop an algorithm uh, for ant colony problem so as you can see here that uh, these ants they start looking for the food source and once they find the food they start moving back uh, in the process of exploration of different paths and they leave pheromone or a smell or some kind of uh, indicator which every ant smells and and this is this corresponds to that uh, the amount of pheromone or a smell is left on the path it means that more and more ants followed that path and essentially uh, the shortest path would have uh, the higher amount of uh, pheromone or a smell left onto the path and we discussed about the uh, the concept that okay these pheromones are left by each ant now they might uh, you know there is uh, there, there is the phenomena of evaporation okay so these smell will not uh, last longer so at what rate these evaporate and then what happens uh, you know to and uh, leave the uh, pheromone again or visit again and whatnot so uh, so there are at, at different points uh, probabilistic technique uh, this algorithm or this approach and colony approach uh, make use of probabilistic technique and uh, for larger problems or uh, let me put it another way np hard problems such as traveling salesperson problem or uh, shortest path problems in general some researchers have found that uh, this technique is quite uh, quite useful and gives them uh, optimal solution all right so now uh, going back to these ants so think about these ants are artificial agents, okay? One can model artificial agents, um, small software programs. Um, and then these artificial agents, they work in the fashion like real ants in the real world. All right, so let's move uh, forward. And uh, those who have not, uh, Mm, who are just watching this lecture first time I would recommend you to watch previous lecture uh, for the same uh, topic and colony and we discussed that uh, uh, we can um, we can uh, represent uh, this problem of ant and and finding the food uh, making use of different paths in a graph and each node of a graph uh, represents that okay and has reached at this point now it can choose different paths to move to the next node uh, in real world problem these nodes uh, can represent cities so a traveling salesperson for example have to leave uh, his or her home and on the way hop or is stopped by at different cities and reaches to the destination all right so what we can do okay what we can learn from ants and apply to computing problem first step a simple exploration of different paths okay artificial ant agents they explore the solution okay or candidate solutions or different paths good now the second step for example Let's say uh, at some point in time you have a, an ant has reached at this node and it may go either to this route reach to this node let's say u or ant can reach to this node another node u following this path or ant can follow different path and reach to the same node u via different path. So let's say we are at this node and an ant k because here may be multiple ants multiple 
uh, artificial ant agents okay at this note h and chooses to move forward so, let's say this node and we call it this node s okay and how it, it's gonna choose well uh, because there are different different paths different nodes uh, so we got to employ some kind of uh, probability okay so let's say uh, what this function is according to this this formula okay that uh, the whatever is the uh, maximum amount okay for the fermion tau h u h and u so that uh, tau represents the the amount of the fermion okay left on this edge and then uh, eta h u to the power beta some constant and if for certain condition q is less than q0 okay now what are different term here means for example mk is the memory of ant k so each ant each artificial agent will have its memory okay i have visited uh, blah 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 paths or blah blah nodes so that is the memory which every artificial agent has so if for any node which is not in the memory of ant okay how the ant k will choose that node which is not in its memory equation one simply uh, signifies that now beta is some constant okay which defines the relative importance of fermion trail and the closeness means uh, uh, whether that particular path is shorter path or not so it's some constant okay and q is, q is a random number between 0 and 1 and q0 is some threshold constant between 0 and 1 so as you can see here, here are so many assumptions we have because we are trying to develop a simple solution for the problem. Now these, um, these constants, um, these random numbers, um, I mean one can um, develop more complex uh, algorithms based on this simple fundamental concept. Okay. So we, we were talking about the tau and eta. So let's see what are tau and eta. So tau is the amount of fermion trail on edge between h and u. Okay. So we are here at this node h and we have to take a decision. Okay. Which node to choose? So let's say this node is u. u. Uh, if we choose this this become s okay u so tau is this one amount of fermion trail on edge between h and u okay and eta eta is some kind of a heuristic function and that heuristic function uh, we may think of uh, one divided by distribution. Okay. So we can think of, okay, uh, what is the distribution function? We can represent probability distribution function for, for the hormones at different edges. Okay, so some kind of a uh, heuristic function. Now, what is S? S is simply a random variable and that random variable it's such that which favors shorter edges with higher level of fermion trail and how do we select s we can select s using a probability density function or probability distribution function okay so 
So probability, if you see this probability distribution between H and S, you just simply uh, simply trying to uh, give you a probability estimate of of the fermion, okay, on that path. Good. Now we are, you know, at each at node H and had chosen the path as now. What it's gonna do now? So third step is uh, update the fermion amount. Okay. Uh, updation of the fermion amount on edges it corresponds to that uh, the ants are leaving the fermion trail okay and that amount is updated locally and globally so locally means that uh, okay ant has found food and now it's going to leave uh, leave some small amount of of the fermion or so that uh, other ants see that okay previous ant went through this path now that means locally and uh, in its own local path is uh, depositing that amount. Globally means that once the ant has completed the path in our uh, algorithm model, uh, artificial in, uh, ant or artificial agent ant, uh, if she finds that, okay, I'm at the shortest path, then she makes a tour and deposit a uh, little more amount of fermion on that path again. So that means the global updation. So let's uh, have more clear idea about the global and local updation. So global updating uh, rewards edges belong to the shortest path. Okay. So once ants have completed their routes, the ant which has traveled shortest path that deposits additional fermion on each visited edge using this formula. Where alpha is, is some constant, okay? Alpha is some constant and delta is uh, the additional amount uh, deposited, okay? And now final step uh, we may think of uh, how to update uh, the fermion amount locally. Okay. So every time a path is chosen, the fermion amount is updated locally. And how? We can make use of equation 4. The tau is the amount of fermion at edge H and S. Again, 1 minus alpha is some constant and alpha and tau 0 is some uh, constant amount or threshold amount you may call or some initial value of the fermion. Good. So this may sound a bit complex but uh, uh, there are a lot of assumptions made here uh, regarding uh, regarding these uh, how to how to choose the uh, fermion amount and how to uh, move to next solution or the next node Okay, so if we, if we try to uh, put it in simple words, we can say that uh, construct a probabilistic solution. Okay, probabilistic solution here means that, uh, uh, or the candidate solution, which has the, uh, which make use of probabilistic estimation and supply them with the initial fermion values. So you have in the beginning artificial ant agents, they have explored uh, different paths and now need to choose which one would belong, which paths would belong to the shortest path. So some probabilistic solution, the initial fermion values and then in the next phase, update the fermion values. update the fermion values and when the ne next iteration 
of and the next iteration starts make use of these updated Fermion values and construct the new candidate solution okay and just keep on doing this in a in a loop unless you find okay now i have reached my termination condition so as you can see here that on each step the Fermion values are updated and new updated Fermion values are being used in constructing new probabilistic solution okay so at each step in your iterative loop solution gets improved all right and that improvement depends on how to choose the probabilistic how to choose the probability density function okay so we discussed in equation 3 equation 4 equation 1 uh, at different level we are making use of probability density functions okay now let's talk about uh, in a simple form how we can write an algorithm very simple while you don't meet a termination condition keep doing these two steps construct the solution and update the Fermion values and at the end when you make the termination condition you'll find that your candidate solution means that uh, your set of edges which belong to the shortest path your algorithm will produce that isn't it a very simple way of understanding and colony optimization thank you very much guys for listening subscribing and liking the professor lectures on youtube we appreciate your feedback and support if you are struggling with uh, certain topics please feel free to send your uh, suggestion comments or if you are looking for private lessons we could help you out thank you once again for subscribing and liking lectures on youtube have a wonderful day